Hey everyone, I am back with a new video. <laughs> I know I have been absent for quite a long time, um, but I I hate starting videos like this where I'm like, I'm back. But I really have set a new intention for 2020 to be present here on this platform. I uh, am happy new year, hello. Um, yeah, I have gone through a lot of changes in the last year and uh, I have more availability to do this, so I am going to do this. Um, I, so you can see from the title of this video that I created a, well, not me, my friend Grace and I started a podcast and she's actually on YouTube too, so if our podcast resonates with you, you might want to subscribe to her on her channel as well. Um, and yeah, uh, I recorded a solo podcast last month and <laughs> I love how the sun is coming out right now. Um, but I also got a lighting set too, so yay. <laughs> so things will start things will be popping here on uh, on YouTube now. And yeah, so I wrote a couple of notes on my phone so I have remember to tell you guys everything that I want to tell you. Haven't talked to you in a while. So yes, uh, first and foremost, I no longer live in Southern California. Uh, my partner Keith and I have moved to Austin, Texas, so we are now living in Austin. Um, there's, there's some better opportunities for here, better opportunities out here for us, so we took those opportunities and we're loving it. It's a really cool town. Uh, we are in Texas, yes, but we I've found that Austin has a, a mindfulness community, a yoga community, a vegan community, so it's been really fun seeing all of that and experiencing it. There's also like a big uh, outdoor activity culture, so we've been playing disc golf and uh, it's January, so we will uh, be participating in more outdoor activities when the weather is better, but really liking this town, so um, thought that it would be also good for me to get back on YouTube to share with people who I have connected with in California, and you can still connect with me via this. And yeah, so now we live in Austin. <laughs> so first and foremost, I wanted to tell you guys that. Um, and, oh man, my notes reloaded. I'm really big on Google Docs nowadays. I like how I can type it on my computer and then also see it on my phone. So, let's see. So, like I was saying, uh, the purpose of this video was to uh, share with you guys a solo podcast that I created that I needed to uh, Grace is very uh, audio literate and I am not so when I did it on my own I just did a video recording of myself and then uh, extracted the audio so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys um, some of our podcast content um, we've been podcasting since September of last year September 2019 so we have some backlog of um, episodes as well, and we have some really beautiful conversations, so I would highly recommend you checking out the previous episodes. Um, and then from here on out, we will be releasing bi-weekly episodes on Fridays. So this upcoming Friday, we will be releasing a new episode, and I hope you guys check it out. It will be linked below. Um, when it comes out and uh, 
the whole podcast will be linked below. So yeah, um, and then so for this so for this specific episode, um, I wanted to share my favorite insight timer uh, guided meditations. Insight timer is an app that you can download on your phone, but just recently they also have made their meditations available on their website. But they are a free tool because a lot of meditation apps are not free and it's just like something I take so much pride in. I take pride in sharing because they take pride in offering this as a free tool. Like, I th it's beautiful that it's available to people and now that it's available to people who don't necessarily like have a smartphone, so it is something that is even more accessible. But I think I explain it more in the podcast, so you'll see it in the new in the next clip about how it like resonates with me. I know guided meditations aren't for um, not everyone. It doesn't resonate with everyone, and I think it's just because it's an unknown. So I think that Insight Timer is a good place for you to kind of explore. And so I just thought it would be good to kind of show you guys, but podcast listeners, um, the different meditation apps that I go to. And I go to different meditations for different reasons, and they're at different lengths. And I have some uh, meditation teachers that I like to go to. So I figured it would be good to share. So if you guys want to check out our podcast, I would appreciate it. It's called Planted and Growing. Uh, planted ampersand and growing and we just talk about mindfulness and personal growth and just having less of an impact on the planet and kind of just what's on our mind and I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you check it out and I will see you guys in the next video hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of planted and growing this is our first, our first solo podcast, and uh, we are attempting to do this, um, you know, full transparency. Uh, Grace's mic is not in its best shape, and it will be replaced within the month. So we just wanted to continue to have podcasts out there for your ears to hear, and I wanted to share something with you guys that I think would be specific to me. Um, I have been doing a lot of guided meditations on Insight Timer for the past few years, and I thought that it would be enjoy. I don't know. I would. It would be a resource for you guys to. <laughs> Also, I, I have just moved to Austin, Texas, so I was about to say y'all, and I think <laughs> I can just start embracing saying y'all. Um, so I think y'all would benefit from maybe having some resources um, and some links to some guided meditations that I have found very useful and beneficial for myself. And so I just wanted to kind of go through the most common guided meditations that I've been doing, why I turn to these guided meditations, and they might be beneficial to you as well. So generally I don't <laughs> talk. Usually it's I think it's nice to have a co-host because you can bounce off of each other. So this is a very interesting experience having to do this on my own. But I... I think that it's important to continue. So um, I'm just going to get into it. I will start with sharing the first meditation that I've been doing, that I just started doing um, for probably like an entire year. So I got into Insight Timer, and I don't even remember how I discovered Insight Timer, but I told myself that I wanted to start meditating on a regular basis. Um, and then the way that I came to it was I was surrounded by a lot of people that practiced meditation. Um, uh, like we've mentioned in a previous episode, Grace and I worked at a cafe together. So we were 
around a lot of mindful people, yogis, and it just kind of inspired me. But in addition to that, I also, um, I just, I, I think I watched a YouTube video and it was like, these are success, these are traits that successful people have. And one of the traits that successful people have is meditating on a regular basis. After I've meditated for a regular basis for quite some time, I understand why people continue to embrace this practice. It helps give you a lot of mental clarity. It helps you tap into your intuition more, I don't know, vividly. I don't know what the word to describe that. But... If anything, I just started meditating with Insight Timer. I enjoyed the consistency and I kept up with it. So I started with a meditation called Morning Meditation with Music by Jonathan Lehman. And he is a popular uh, meditation teacher on Insight Timer. And this specific uh, meditation was a 10 minute meditation that I would do in the morning. And what it would do is kind of, you know, settle you in and then it would give you seven affirmations for you to focus on throughout the day. So just, you know, uh, bringing more kindness into your life or um, bringing kindness to other people just things to focus on. And honestly, I did that meditation for about a year consistently and didn't really like go. I mean, maybe it was like nine months or something like that. It was a a long period of time where I was like, I am good with this meditation. But then um, I started to bring in more meditations that were like three minutes long or five minutes long to start doing those throughout my day to bring those into my day as well. So the other meditation that I was doing on a more regular basis was a poem called She Let Go. And I'll have uh, links to all of these meditations in the description um, so that you can find them more easily. And I'll also try to, um, yeah, include maybe even links to... Uh, meditation teachers that I enjoy as well. So I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but it's John Siddiqui, and he is another popular meditation teacher as well. So I've listened to a few of his, but the one that I really like is um, what's well, described as an inspiring poem on letting go of the conditioned self written of the condition, self-written by Sapphire Rose and read by John. And so this is only like a two-minute meditation, and it might only resonate with people who identify as a she-her, because it's continuously talking about how she let go. And it's a good meditation to, I don't know, I was going to say step into, but it's a good meditation to listen to when you feel like you're gripping on really tight to have control over something. Um, It's about how she, and you know, it's she, but you can embrace it as your own, how she doesn't have a timetable for letting go. She just let go. And I can really like uh, identify with that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can identify with that as well, where you're just holding on so so tight to have control over the situation. And so, like, one of the lines, it's like, like a leaf falling from a tree, she just let go. It's, it's just, I would highly, highly recommend that one. So I always, I turn back to that one pretty consistently as well. Um, let's see. Uh, the Insight Timer is just a really great, guided meditation app they are free and it's kind of like community based uh I and then there's a paid version of the app that you can also partake in and all of and and they say on the app that all of their teachers on the app get 50 percent 50 percent of the 
income from people who pay for the, the full version of the app, which I would recommend checking out if it aligns with you. So if you, so within the app, you can bookmark your favorite meditation. So I'm referencing my bookmarks. Um, and when it's get books, when it gets bookmarked, it generally goes from your most frequently played. So those were my top two. And then thirdly, uh, Andrew Johnson is a really great teacher as well. He's also Scottish. So that's really enjoyable to listen to as well. And he has a deep sleep meditation. It's 30 minutes and it has like really peaceful music behind it. But he's just like talking you to sleep, you know, having your body relax. Um, What it's called is yoga nidra. It's not necessarily what he's doing, but you can kind of equate it to where you're focusing on different parts of your body and finding relaxation. And... Uh, I'm 10 minutes into this podcast and hoping that the audio is okay. So uh, I think I want to check real quick. So it appears that the audio is okay. Um, Shout out to Grace who would check our audio every time we would record. So I'm thinking that things are still going well. Um... So, yes, sleep meditations and yoga nidra is a good place to turn to. Actually, they have like a whole sleep section. So it's a great place to just go and find. But I return to deep sleep meditation by Andrew Johnson almost on a regular basis. I used to switch it up, but then I feel like it's just easy to go with that one. Another meditation that I listen to a lot is Sacral Chakra Tibetan Singing Bowl. And so that's a 30-minute meditation that I just use from the, for the audio. I, I have not yet meditated for 30 minutes, although I did meditate for 25 minutes the other day. For a lot of the year, I've been meditating for 5 or 10 minutes, and I had listened in a podcast where you can really find a lot of change when you're meditating for more than 10 minutes, more than 15 minutes. And I've done that in the past and have felt like very impactful feelings from that. But I just haven't had made it a priority lately to meditate for longer than five or 10 minutes. So anyway, I do not meditate for 30 minutes. I wish that I did. It is just a beautiful, um, it's just singing bowls and I think there's like crickets in the background so I just turn to that one for when I want background noise not back not noise necessarily but just like background vibes (laughs) so that one I would recommend um there's also a five minute one that I listen to um that I'll link below to that I just use when I'm pulling my tarot cards and I like the sound of that one as well. I mean, I'm just, I think I also, it's called Skoskro. So that's why I didn't even want to say it because I don't know how to pronounce it. But that is another good uh, just audio uh, guided meditation. I have listened to a lot of guided meditations that have like someone speaking and I wanted to... uh, you know, test out just listening to audio because I wanted to see what would come up from just listening to music. So I think I'll continue to explore that more. And those are like my two recommendations. Um, this is a meditation that I have mentioned in a previous uh, podcast episode. It's a gratitude meditation by Julie Baldon. And basically what she does is she just points out things that you can be grateful for. And she kind of, you know, she talks about being grateful for having sight, 
for seeing sunsets and sunrises, for having hearing so that you can hear your loved ones and um, just kind of like goes through a list of things and you can, and at, at the beginning she tells you to just embrace the feeling of gratitude if it doesn't come up that's fine but when she tells you to do that you're kind of just trying to feel gratitude in your body and I really turn to this meditation as often as possible especially when I'm like I am not being that grateful (laughs) or I just I feel like the feeling of gratitude is really grounding so I would highly highly recommend that one um I feel like I'm kind of rambling on. I feel like maybe I can um, turn this into a also maybe like another uh, another resource. So if it interests you guys for me to continue, maybe I can make a blog post about this and have it written down for you guys to reference. Um Lastly, I, and this is the 25 meditation that I um, did the other day, is David G is another uh, guided meditation teacher on Insight Timer. And another one that Grace and I really like is, I can't think of his name right now. Oh, Jason McGriss is also a good one. I like Paz, P-A-Z. Um, I'm really blanking on the one Grace and I like, but he, oh, Kenneth Saunders. He has really good sleep meditations. He has really good manifestation meditations. Um, so I would recommend that one as well. Um, but yes, above all, I would highly recommend Insight Timer. It has really been transformative for me. It's probably my number one use app and I hope that you found this useful and that you kind of check out the app and see what kind of guided meditations are helpful for you um just uh just wanted to have a short podcast to kind of speak to you guys and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed it would love your feedback you can email us at planted in growing at gmail.com like the letter N, and we will be uh, more active there. We are planning to uh, be more present in 2020 with this podcast, and so any feedback you guys can provide would be greatly appreciated. Um, Any uh, podcast things that you would like us to talk about, we'd love to hear it, and really appreciate you guys listening, and I will catch you in the next one.